and this is Elena and today we are going to do a bob cut using sexy hair products and we're going to do a bob cut in style so here we go first of all we're going to go ahead and do the cut and so we're going to comb our hair down just to make sure that there's no tangles in the hair so we're going to comb it down all the way around and then we're gonna start at the very ends of her hair and go ahead and start shaping the hair. So I have my shears. And Elena has told me that she wants a bob cut to stop in the back at the bottom of her neck. So we're gonna go ahead and start there first and then we're gonna work our way down into an angled bob. Now this bob will have layers because the picture that she showed me had a lot of layers and it was very, very flirty. So we're gonna go ahead and do that afterwards. So here we are starting at the bottom of the neck with the cut. And Katora, if you could just turn the camera around just a little bit to the back so that people can see the cut that I'm doing right now have already made my guide here at the back of the neck and if you do not think that you can get it straight my number one thing is to use your comb scissor over comb is the best way to do it because your hands can and will sometimes not be accurate and the comb is always accurate so here we go with the comb and we're taking that as our guide and look as we're going down into an angle. We're angling it with the guide. Another technique that you can use as far as the bob that I really like is over projecting the hair towards the back in an angle. And as you over project it, it gets longer and longer towards the bottom. And we're just over projecting it, coming toward the back again. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And you see how that just came down into a bob immediately. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna check just to see if there's any stragglies hanging on for dear life. Make sure that there's nothing hanging on, that everything that was supposed to be cut is cut. So we're gonna check our work. And from what I can see, we did an excellent job Swing it back around just to make sure that it looks good because what we're going to do in the end is make some layers because Ilana has, um, she has very fine hair, beautiful hair, very fine curly hair. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some texture within that bob so that whenever she wears it, it can be full. So that's what we're going to do in the end. And then we're going to go ahead on this side. And we're going to do the same thing that we did on the other side. We're going to come down into an angle, over project. With any bob, over projection is key, especially if the client wants um, very detailed, a very detailed bob look. You really want to over project it. That's the best way to do it. So we continue to bring it back, checking for mistakes along the way. Bring that front part back to the back. Again, cutting it in an angle checking for mistakes. And 
There we go. And this is really good look for the summer. Okay, so as you can see, one side is just a little bit longer than the other side, and we're gonna go ahead and fix that later. But right now, we're gonna go ahead and start the layers, and the layers that I'm gonna start off with in the back, they're gonna be really high, so whenever Elena wants to go places and things like that, it won't be anything for her to just toss that hair up and go. So it will, it'll be like a carefree cut for her. She won't have to do much work at all with this cut. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and begin the layers. And I'm just checking on both sides once again just to make sure. start with the layers and then if there is any like I said if at the end of the cut there's this side is still longer all you got to do is just snip snip right there at the at the end and line it up so with the layers what we're going to do is we're going to come to the top and I want her layers to be pretty pretty high so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and then point cut right here at the top and the great thing about this cut is everything can be over projected to the back because this is our guide right here so whenever she gets ready to do her hair, her first layer will fall right there to the back. So what I'm going to do is I see where it's falling at and I want it a little bit shorter. So I'm going to take it up again and go just a little bit shorter and then line everything up with that. Come down the middle, line it right up with the guide point cutting it all the way up right with the guide coming right up to your guide just checking just to see if there's anything else that's trying to stick out okay so basically we have a 90 degree right here in the middle of the head Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to line everything up with that. So I'm going to over project once again like we did before. And then what I'm going to do is add the layers in by over projecting it towards the guide. Then we part down again, over project toward that middle guide. cutting the excess hair off toward the guide. Anything that is hanging on, just cut it off. And then you come down and around toward that guide again. And you can always cross check to make sure that your cut is, is in sync with what you're doing. I'm gonna come around again, over project it all the way around. Now you see how that is? It's lining up with everything that we're doing. It's in unison with the cut. And then I'm going to take that front part, over project it on back, and add the layers in that way.
So that way, no matter how she shakes it, everything will flow in unison with one another. And what I'm doing right now is just checking and just making sure that everything is going the way it's supposed to with the cut. Here we go. Layers. You see? That just that just did everything to the side of the head. <laughs> it just really woke everything up. Because now she has a lot of layers. She has the bottom half to play with as, as well. And it's gonna and once I press it out and with the flat irons and stuff, it'll be more defined as well. But with either curly or straight, it'll be such a cute look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side the same way I did the other side. And then like I said, at the end, we'll check everything just to make sure everything is doing what it's supposed to do. and just bring it on a while, around, just sweep it on around. What I like about Elena's hair is it's either either way she wears it, it's just it's gonna look really nice, either curly or straight. And she has a lot of options with this cut. And that's what a lot of people like whenever they want to get a haircut. They want to have options because either if she's if she's going out to the grocery store or if she's going out with her husband, she can wear her hair in so many different ways with this cut. And a lot of women we like options and variety. Okay. Okay. So I'm just pulling this up because at the end of the day you want the top to be good as well. So we got that going. Now what we're going to do is just check that bottom part that we had a little trouble with in the first half just to make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to go. I'm checking my ends, I'm checking the hair just to make sure that everything is lining up the way it's supposed to and everything looks great. Now what I'm going to do is just make sure that the bottom is in unison with everything else that we need to do. And I'm just cutting off any extra hairs that need to be cut. cut hair at the end because it makes it look so much softer. I even like razor cutting as well. That's my favorite thing to do as well. So what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that the ends are even with the rest of the hair.
So while I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and then after I, after I come back, we'll go ahead and flat iron it, and you'll be able to see the finishing product. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, since Elena has curly hair, what I'm doing is I'm putting the, the Sexy Hair Curling Liquid Gel inside of her hair. And when this dries, it's what it's going to do is it's going to make it look so beautiful, no frizz at all. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put that in there right quick. And that's this, the Curly Sexy Hair Liquid Curling Gel. And what it does is it curls your hair without any frizz. And since Elena's hair is so curly, um, this would be great on this style um, bob for her hair. So I'm putting it on. And you can scrunch it as you're putting it on as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put a, um, do spray bottle on the other side. And I'm just working it through her hair and working it through her curls. And as you put a diffuser on the blow dryer, what it's gonna do is it's gonna make her hair look so beautiful. And so I just wanted you guys to see it in the bob style as it's curly. So what you do is you scrunch up, keep scrunching all the way around, and you go ahead and use a diffuser on the on the blow dryer. And what that's going to do is that's going to make your hair a little bit more thicker and dry, of course, and then it's going to make it look beautiful as well. So that's one way to do this bob. And you can still see the layers on both sides. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to give Elena a nice soft fringe in the front, just right here, start at the cheekbone and go down just to add a little bit more softness to her face. And so I'm going to pause it again and then when we come back, I'm going to go ahead and flat iron it and it's going to look great in a soft style as well. So I'm showing you two different ways to do it. So you can go ahead and pause it. And what I'm going to do, I just blow dried Elena's hair. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the Smooth and Shine Sexy Hair because what that does is it tames all of the frizz and it actually smooths the cuticle and it seals it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and spray that in, in her hair and then after that, I am going to go ahead and flat iron it. So we're going to pause again and then come back. Okay, and now as you can see, Elena's hair has been curled and we're gonna just comb it through just so that you can see the wave pattern here that I curled it in. I, fly, I actually just flat ironed it and um, just so she can see the versatility of the bob. So as you can see the line, the A line that's going up here and here. And what I'm just doing is just styling it. I'm not combing the curls out too much, but I am just kind of styling it with my fingers and with the comb so that the curls can kind of stay in for a while. Um, and so we're just going to go ahead and comb it through. And as you can see the fullness here in the layers coming down, um, she can actually put some rollers in it and just roller set the top of the hair and then just kind of curl the bottom. Um, just put some rollers right in this section if she was to go somewhere and it would just make it look so full and then she could just flat iron the very ends of it. But basically this is the end result. Because sort of you can walk around and just let them see everything. This is the end result of her haircut and this is the flirty bob that I was talking about in the beginning. And Elaine, if you could hold your hair down so you can see the A-line there and just walk around. So Elena, how do you, you like it? You, I think it's cute. All right. And that's what I want to hear. As long as the client loves it, I absolutely love it too. So thank you so much for allowing me to do the video and thank you. <laughs>